So this is uh, the first video looking at forces and pressure. We've got lessons one, two, three, four, and five to go through. This is contact and non-contact forces. So obviously you'd use the PowerPoint uh, on your own, but this is just a little video intro to the key ideas. So obviously we've got terms here on one side, definitions on the other. You, you need to learn all that stuff off by heart. I'm not gonna go through it in detail now, but learn, learn the keywords, learn the formulas, learn how to manipulate them. Um, so the first lesson we're looking at identifying a range of forces, categorizing forces based on interactions, looking at non-contact forces, contact, drawing free body diagrams. If you can explain the idea of fields causing a force, that's, that's really good going. So forces and representing forces. So some forces, obviously, you have contact between two surfaces, say, causing friction. But some things don't have a contact. So when we think of gravitational pull magnetism and electrostatics, they don't actually need anything to touch them for them to have an effect. So that's where contact is not necessary. You might do a little practical where you look at various ideas. Some of these you could try at home actually um, to have a go at. Um, if you're going to do it, try and work out a free body diagram like this. So free body diagrams are blocks, for example, with forces going from the middle. Um, if they're equal and opposite, you should draw them the same size. So support and weight, for example. Um, this slide has got all sorts of little examples. I've got obviously four forces on this one. Um, this one is, is a bit tricky because the water goes at an angle. You've got one force going from left to right, one force going down, which produces what we call a resultant on a diagonal. That's really quite tricky. Um, you could try the ping pong ball at home actually and have a think about how up thrust and weight work. Um, if you have a look at the video clip, so the link's there, you'll be able to click on the PowerPoint. You can look at various examples. One of the key points is that all forces have both magnitude and direction. So magnitude is really what we mean about, um, about size effectively. So have a look through the video, make some notes. Um, there's lots of key notes you can, you can look at. The idea of normal contact force, normal means at 90 degrees to the surface. Um, that's a little summary for lesson one. 